Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited because in today's video, I'm about to share with you guys some healthy habits that have changed my life. Because they are what shapes your day, they're what shapes your week, your month, your year, your life. Honestly, I can go on and on <laughs> with healthy habits and how to make up an overall healthy, productive day, but I would literally keep you here forever. So I've narrowed it down to 15 in no particular order, things that I do every single day that I live by. So, you know, hopefully this can help somebody else out there who's looking for some healthy habits. Some of these might be super obvious and then others you might be like, okay, I'm gonna try that. So without further ado, let's do this. First off, facial serums, okay? And for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you would know I swear by facial serums. They are a godsend. They've made my face look smooth, they've cleared it up, they give a nice glow. They are just a, like a magic potion for your face. Facial serums are something that I use every single solitary day, morning and night. I love vitamin C, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid. Those are my three that I'm just like, I switched out all of my oils this past year, like the oils that I cook with, with all natural healthy oils. So I no longer cook with canola oil or vegetable oil. I used to, I will admit, they're a lot cheaper than natural oils. But yeah, within this last year, I only cook with avocado oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. And guys, the benefits in those oils alone are crazy insane. If you're anything like me, I need to cook with oil, okay? I cook with a lot of oil. I fry up my popcorn in oil. It's so good. I feel like these natural oils have literally spiced up my life and have given so much flavor to my food. Monitoring my water. I never used to and I wouldn't realize how dehydrated I really was. I was trying so hard to keep track of, of how much I was intaking and by the end of the day, I'm like, Okay, just forget about it. Recently, I bought a big, okay, my big bottle of water. This keeps track of how much I'm drinking. I'm supposed to drink this much a day. So I fill it up every single morning and now I know for sure that I am having the right amount of water in my system all day. I was always feeling super tired and lethargic and I would blame it on the weather. Oh, I got a bad night's sleep. No, I was dehydrated deep stretching. Before I started doing these stretches, I uh, would wake up in the morning, just get on with my day. I have pulled my lower back more times than I can even say. And my whole day is ruined. I can't go to the gym. I'm in pain. Then I just hate myself. I've been stretching and honestly, so far I have not, my back pain has gone away. I just feel more mobile. Like I could just I don't pinch my freaking muscles every two seconds. I don't know, maybe that's just me that happens too, but it's going to bed early and waking up early. Y'all are probably gonna roll your eyes because it's super just cliche. Early to bed, early to rise makes Ashley, well, not wise, that's not true. I wake up at 5 a.m. with James every single morning because he has work. He started a job super early in the morning. So that's why we wake up and that's what got us on this little regimen. And at first I hated it. I hated it, I hated it, oh, I hated it. But my body got actually super used to it really fast and I could not see any other way. When I wake up at 5 a.m., I have the whole morning to just get everything done. It's like a jump start on the day. I'm more productive. I'm usually in bed by like nine <laughs> and y'all are probably like, yo, you're so old. It's kind of more enjoyable because I get everything out of the way in the morning and then I have all this time with the rest of the evening. I can actually like cook and take my time cooking and then, you know, watch my Netflix. Next one is I have been within this past year, okay, replacing a ton of meat that I used to eat with fish. I'm not vegetarian. No, I'm not. I've tried it. I have tried it for a hot minute and I didn't like it. When I, I tried to eat all the vegetarian proteins and my I literally felt like, um, like I was about to die. And I thought something was severely wrong with me. And then, um, then I had a 
burger and then I was fine. I know you guys are probably like, but what about the mercury, girl? I eat it in moderation because I still do eat a lot of turkey meat, okay? And I eat a bunch of eggs for protein. Switching to mainly a fish-based, I guess, diet has made such an impact on my daily life because I don't feel lethargic after eating it. So even if I do eat fish, you get a ton of protein. It's clean protein. I'm ready to go to the gym afterwards. I can do that. Um, social media detoxing. This is a huge one because last year I didn't do it. I never took breaks and hours would go by and I would be like, it would literally feel like somebody just kind of like taking my head and just squeezing it in. This is what it felt like. I felt fuzzy, I felt bad. And then I would be like, oh my God, I never worked out today. You gotta, you gotta cleanse that mind a little bit, baby girl. You gotta be like, shopping at Whole Foods. And when I say Whole Foods, I don't literally mean at the store Whole Foods, even though that's exactly where I shop. I mean like any Whole Foods. Like I will go to Trader Joe's. I'll go to anywhere that sells like whole type of foods. This has changed my life. Yeah, for the obvious reasons, eating clean. But I'm gonna be more specific than that. You can go to Walmart and like typical stores. I couldn't find really real, real, Healthy alternatives. They would claim to be healthy alternatives. Then I look at the ingredients and I'm like, sugar is the first ingredient. So James and I started going to Whole Foods and it has changed our lives. We now can find healthy alternatives for just about anything. A big thing with trying to eat right with me in particular is that I can't cut anything out. I like to snack. I like crackers. I like chips. So if I had to cut things out cold turkey just to be healthy, I wouldn't eliminating clutter. This is something that I uh, kind of always tried to practice all my life, but it wasn't until this last year where I realized, oh my God, I looked around my apartment at all the things that we had that we never used, don't need, taking up space. So the fact that there was things just cluttering up our space, it just cluttered up our minds. And for me, I would walk in and see just everything everywhere. And I would literally want to jump out that window, that one right there, I had that, epiphany and I said what am I doing I gotta get out of here I truly do believe that a clean space is a clean mind now it's actually um, a pleasant space to be because I don't feel bogged down by the material things it just puts an unnecessary weight on you and girl you do not need that okay meditating however I know what you're thinking like I don't meditate the way, stereotypical way of meditating. I haven't gotten that method down. So you gotta take your own personal approach to it. And I've kind of come to the conclusion that my form of meditating is going for a long drive by myself. Me, myself, and I. It clears my mind. It just gets me like, it feels like all the bad stuff that gets accumulated up in my brain is just gone. Replacing coffee with green tea. Now, before you go, no, it ain't what you think, girl. Coffee's my best friend. I drink it every single morning. Every single morning, yeah, that's all I was gonna say. I'm never gonna cut it out because um, I am 100% addicted. I only drink green tea and water for the rest of the day. I will not have a second cup of coffee because I noticed I was getting in that habit for a long time and I would crash and I would always feel tired throughout the day because caffeine is a diuretic. So the more caffeine you intake, the more dehydrated you're going to be. So why do I keep talking to you? I've been switching over to green tea and it just kind of keeps my caffeine intake just like more steady. No, no caffeine drops when it comes to green tea. It's just a nice steady groove, all right? It just keeps me like this all day. Cleaning at night. I used to just clean whenever. I clean at night now, right before I'm getting ready to relax to go to bed. I love waking up to a nice, clean apartment that I don't have to be like, ugh, in the morning. I don't wanna be disgusted when I first wake up in the morning. I wanna cook my dang breakfast, not have to scrub a pot. Cleaning at night has literally just, I love it. I look forward to it, it just wraps up the night, go to bed, wake up feeling refreshed and be like, Facial massages. I do have a rose quartz facial roller that I love to death. I'll have that video linked down below because I did make a video about it. It helps your circulation and it will actually help produce 
collagen in your face. Your, your cells are just reproducing and it honestly helps you have plumper skin. And I know how ridiculous that sounds, but there was a long period of time where I was like, man, I feel like I'm like 60 years old. My face feels like it's just like sagging down and it felt like somebody was like tugging down on it. Ever since I've been rejuvenating it by giving it massages, I feel young again. James and I stopped eating out as much. There was a period of time where we would go out to restaurants um, regularly. And I would of course try to eat healthy thinking, okay, how bad could this piece of grilled chicken be? Even trying to eat the cleanest meal from a restaurant, I would still leave feeling so, so bloated. To the point where everything else I wanted to do for the day would be just canceled. I would just go to bed and take a nap afterwards. It gets complicated when you go to restaurants, you just really never know what they're putting in your food. We really don't go out to eat at all. We always cook everything from home now. I've been feeling a lot better. It's been getting me to the gym better because I don't feel so bogged down. Aromatherapy. Aromatherapy has so many amazing benefits. What I use it for is um, relaxation. So I love lavender at night. Having my oil diffuser going is amazing. But if you don't feel like going through the whole putting it in the diffuser and all that, you could just like go like that just for a few minutes and just doing that like right before bed, just taking deep breaths and like holding it. Oh, Another big one I use is peppermint oil. Big reason is because um, in the winter time, I, my nose is always freaking clogged. I can't breathe, girl. Blasting that heat will just dry me out, inflame my nostrils. Peppermint oil keeps your air fresh. Natural oils are super good for you, good for your skin, so it's, there's no harmful chemicals in the air. It has helped my sinuses significantly and just kind of opens everything up. Uh, yeah, I swear by aromatherapy. So yeah, guys, that was it. Those were my um, healthy habits that have truly changed my life for the better. I hope that this video has helped you guys or inspired you in some way. If you do any of these healthy habits for yourself, comment down below. Or if you have something different that you do, I'd love to hear about it. Like I said, I could honestly go on and on with this topic, but I did want to just kind of keep it short and sweet for the most part. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe I can make um, more of these kinds of videos. And if you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, why not, right? Yeah, let's be friends there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video.